Welcome back to the three months of modal logic is equal to the 100 days of logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with epistemic logic, looking at axiom D in justification logic. So we've seen a lot of different versions of axiom D throughout our series on modal logic, through alethic modal logic, deontic modal logic, doxastic, temporal, and epistemic modal logic. Justification axiom D is going to look a little bit different. Basically what this is saying is it's not the case that any x, any piece of information justifies a contradiction, remembering that upside down t means a contradiction. Basically this axiom will state that nothing can justify a contradiction. This is the closest we're going to get to axiom d in justification logic, so we're going to call it justification axiom d, even though it doesn't perfectly map onto our other logical versions of axiom D for different modal logics, which basically say that we can't have contradictions, but don't exactly say it. Now, the keen eye is going to see that while this bears some similarity to axiom D, it maps almost perfectly onto the omissibility axiom from deontic logic. If you want more information on the differences between axiom D and the omissibility axiom in deontic logic, check out my previous video all the way back in October on the different kinds of deontic contradictions and the difference between the omissibility axiom and that deontic axiom D. But we're going to call this justification axiom D because we don't have a similar corollary to the deontic axiom D that maps perfectly onto our other axiom Ds. The system derived from adding this axiom to j is going to be called jd. The system created by adding d to j0 is called jd0. And the system created by adding d to any system jcs, where c is a constant specification, is going to be called jcsd. This axiom seems pretty intuitive if you're completely on board with classical logic, if you think it's possible that some people can justify claims of non-classical logic, you're not going to be on board with this axiom, but that'll all depend on whether or not you think that people can in some way, for some reason, justify contradictions. All right? Up next, we're going to be looking at something known as the fact activity axiom and system JT. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.